I'm try one more time like this. Hi, my fellow cartoonists. It's Christopher Hart with his new book. I'm talking in third person now. Drawing with Squiggles and Wiggles. It's fun, it's creative, and you can do it easily and quickly. And there are tons in here. You just start with a squiggle or a wiggle and you end up with a cute character. I'll show you one of them that we'll do today. We'll start with a, some simple shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. A baby koala who just wants a hug. I know you can't deny him. So let me put this over here and I'll give a little demo. Something very simple you can do. Hopefully you can follow along and it's in the book, of course. So we're going to start with just kind of this kind of big rounded shape up here. And just nicely sketchy. You don't have to really darken it in at this point. And come down here. It's kind of like a light bulb shape in a way. And the bottom is just a little smaller. This, this one is a wiggle. The open lines I call squiggles. Squiggles and wiggles. This is a little smaller than this side, so I'm going to even them out. Always referencing your own work. Does this side work? How about compared to the other side? That's what cartoonists do. We're going to put two feet here, even before I draw the face, just to ground it, ground it down on an area. Like, uh, let's say it's uh, the bottom of a forest floor. So we put two just simple pads of feet like this and darken a little bit here, right under the tummy. We can now erase this part here so the feet really are locked in to the form. I mean, they don't have to be perfectly similar, but you know, it's a good idea, I'm close. And now let's put, you've seen this of course, the famous center line, direct the, divides the head into two and the eye line right here, like halfway down the head. So we keep the eyes even, like that. Now I'll give them nice and big eyes. We'll just go slowly here. Like this. And the same thing on the other side. On that, on that uh, eye line. We'll darken it in, in a minute that. You notice that they're both just as close to the center line. That's what keeps them even, measuring the eyes against the center line. Now he's going to be looking up. We're going to give him some kind of ovals for the pupils. And bring it looking up and a little to the middle. When a cartoon character focuses, it's usually slightly toward the center. A few little eyelashes. And this side too. And toward the middle of the face, closer to the middle than where the eyes are, we put some, you know, uh, eyebrows. A little bridge of the nose up here. That gives it dimension. So I'll put the nose below that and it will look like it's coming toward us. And that cute little koala square rectangular nose. Now let's make this work by, by just curving the, the, the smile right around that nose. We'll emphasize the uniqueness of that nose by bringing the attention to it. All right, so let's give it like this. And we'll have a little bit of an open mouth to really look like it's having fun. Just a little cheek area like that. I'm gonna, I know you've noticed this, so I'll get rid of that. And now let's put a little hair, bit of hair up here. And we'll have the big fuzzy ears here. But before we put the fuzz, let's get the form. Like that. And before we just finish up everything, let's put those arms and get them going. Like this. And they're going to reach up. We're going to emphasize the shoulder area. And just spread those little paw-like fingers. He wants to reach up so bad. Now, this looks really good to me. This is not quite as good. And I think I made it a little too long. 
So I'm going to reach up like this. Yeah, that looks better. Now he's really reaching. We're going to put some, hit, uh, some, some grass here. We leave the fuzz for the ears. Right like this. And a little shadow under the feet. Kind of grounds it, you see? And a little bit of, sh little bit of fuzz on the side. And now let's put that really, those really fuzzy ears. That's part of the landmark trait of this character. The partial circle, interior circle, partial interior circle, and a little bit of shading. Same thing on this side. And now let's just make it go a little darker here. Once you sketch it and it looks good, emphasize it. Bring this up for the shoulder, like that. Oh yeah, he wants a hug, he's going to get a hug. <laughs> you cannot resist, come on. I know you, you can't. All right, so that's a fun little guy, isn't it? Book is filled with guys like this. Here we go again. Here it is, the baby koala needs a hug. And, and there are all sorts of things. They call the double twins. These are dogs made on a bump, two bumps. And they end up like that. And a very cute cat which starts with a squiggle. Anyway, it's called Drawing with Squiggles and Wiggles. I hope you'll check it out. And I'm ultra glad you were with me today and I hope to see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.